so their seeds are able to travel in water. This plant is the sea bean. Its seeds are some of the best able to travel in water. Friends, traveling in the water is no easy matter. Each seed has its own special packaging. This means they can separate from one another and travel in different directions. The seed you are now watching is about to embark on a long journey. Look, the river current is carrying it towards the sea. It will reach the sea after a journey of many kilometers. Its casing acts as both a raft and a protective covering. This journey that will continue in the ocean may last for months or even years. And the seed will stay alive despite the difficult conditions in the ocean. If the sheath is damaged, its hard shell will continue to protect it. Eventually it reaches dry land where it will settle and continue with its life. A new sea bean tree will begin putting down roots thousands of kilometers away from the parent tree. Plants that make friends with ants. Do you know what the hardest working insects in the world are? Ants, of course. Ants are the most diligent and hardest working insects of all. Plants sometimes take advantage of ants' industriousness and use them to carry their seeds. In return, they give the ants a special reward. Their seeds have a fleshy covering which provide food for ants. If the seeds are left out in the open, then birds or other creatures will eat them. So they need to go underground as soon as possible if they are to survive and grow. The ants are at work. Ants are carrying the seeds underground into their nest. They eat the nutritious food around the seeds, but don't touch the seeds themselves. So, the seed makes its home underground, where it can grow in safety. Fruit trees use a similar technique. They use human beings and animals to carry their seeds. When the seed ripens, the fleshy pulp around it changes color, becoming sweet and delicious. It literally invites human beings and animals to break it off. Birds cannot resist these fruits and eat plenty of them. Let's think again now.
Plants use soil, water, and the sun to produce delicious fruits for us. They make healthy foods as if they knew what human beings and animals need. What is more, they produce these fruits in such a way that this enables dispersion of their seeds. Don't forget, trees consist of wood, roots and leaves. They have no powers of thought or reason. Yet they produce really delicious and nutritious foods for us and animals. It is Almighty God who created us and all other things, who also enables trees to make fruits in this way. God calls on us in a verse from the Quran. It is He who sends down water from the sky, from which we bring forth growth of every kind, and from that we bring forth the green shoots, and from them we bring forth close-packed seeds, and from the spathes of the date palm, date clusters hanging down, and gardens of grapes and olives and pomegranates, both similar and dissimilar. Look at their fruits as they bear fruit and ripen. There are signs in that for people who believe. Conclusion In this film we have been looking at seeds and pollens, which are a miracle that most people are not even aware of. Flowers that guide insects. Insects that have been specially created for these flowers. Orchids that provide bees with perfume. Seeds that use parachutes, just like engineers. And seeds able to withstand journeys in water lasting thousands of kilometers. We have seen some of the interesting techniques that plants use to make other creatures carry their seeds for them. We have seen that these systems in plants are too perfect to have come into existence by chance. It is Almighty God, the All-Knowing, who regulates all of this. It is He who knows the creation and needs of plants and places other means at their service. God calls to us on this subject. God is He who splits the seed and kernel. He brings forth the living from the dead and produces the dead out of the living. That is God.